this report was clear uh, that the former governor uh, abused his office and violated the public trust. Those are the main conclusions of the report on Andrew Cuomo and his time in office. The newest revelations come from a look into Cuomo's more than $5 million book deal. The idea of writing leadership lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic came only weeks into the crisis and according to the report, quickly consumed taxpayer resources during a crucial time. One staffer even texted that, quote, the book was compromising his ability to work on other COVID-related matters. We knew that Cuomo used state resources to write a blood money book of lies off the graves of 16,000 seniors and my father being one of them. But for Tracy Alvino, the report fell short on the issue of nursing homes. Had I known what was going on in real time, my father was only a rehabilitation patient. He was there after neck surgery. Had I known the truth, I could have made the decision to take him out and rehab him at home. The assembly report confirmed the Cuomo administration was indeed not transparent about who was dying in nursing homes and that a separate report by the Department of Health defending decisions made was heavily influenced and even edited by Cuomo himself. Still, investigators agreed with that DOH report's key conclusion that COVID was, quote, likely introduced into nursing homes by infected staff. Still, several issues surrounding nursing homes and COVID did not appear to be seriously investigated by the assembly, including a potential VIP testing program and a controversial order to send recovered patients back into nursing homes. And it completely ignores the immunity that Cuomo gave to nursing home executives sneaking into the budget. In her response to the impeachment report release, Governor Hochul mentioned nursing homes. We're focused on transparency, which is why in the first days of my administration, I insisted that the Department of Health release the true nursing home deaths picture because it had been not released before. In a lengthy statement, a spokesman for the former governor says and continues to insist that anyone who worked on the book did so in a voluntary basis. He also seized on the part in the report that confirms the DOH conclusion that staff brought COVID into nursing homes and it wasn't Cuomo's policy of sending recovered patients back into nursing homes.